was getting closer. Closer. And? I threw a rock at him. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. People of Earth, I am Darkseid, Lord of Apocalypse. Service with a smile? I know about all your other major enemies, but you never mentioned him. He was the biggest, wasn't he? Oh, come on. It's Lex Flip and Luthor. Why should we trust him? What? Like a bunch of super friends? More like a Justice League. Connor, it's once again just me and you here talking about some Batman the Animated Series. No more Everest. Yeah, Everest is like, done. Yeah, you think he's just, he's never coming back again. So, uh, yeah, we, we're talking about Almost Got Him today. So, Connor, like you want to go ahead and jump into Almost Got Him? Um, yeah, this was a pretty good episode. Uh, I was assuming this was going to be a good episode because you guys have been talking about this one for a while. Um, but I didn't realize that it was going to be kind of all from the villain's point of view. And it's kind of like explaining about all the times that they almost got Batman and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, this is the first proper episode of Villain's Care. Like, there was the episode with Hugo Strange, but this is the first time they're kind of really together. Um, yeah, it was it was, it was pretty cool. The, the Joker's plot with the Laughing Machine was very Monsters, Inc.-ish. Um, Before Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, well, I know. I, I was just thinking that, actually, as well. So, um... <laughs> Stole their idea from this. <laughs> um, it was cool seeing Catwoman back. I thought Catwoman was actually pretty good in this. Um, same with Penguin. I thought he was a lot better in this than he was in his first appearance. Uh, th no, this is. Is this the second time he's appeared, or has he appeared other times before? This is the third time Penguin has oh, appeared. Oh, the third. Because he, uh, his introduction episode, I've got Batman in my basement, yeah. and uh, then Strange Secret of Bruce Wayne. Okay, so he wasn't. I, I thought he was better in this than either of his other appearances. Um, he sounded different as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like to poison Ivy brought up the, the thing with her and Two-Face. Oh, that's a nice little throwback. Oh, yeah. One half of me wants to hit you with the truck and then... Uh, yeah. <laughs> or no, I think he says, like, one half of me wants to strangle you, and they're like, what does the other half of you want to do? Hit you with the yeah. truck. <laughs> and she's just like, we <laughs> used to date. And everyone's like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty good. Then Harley was there as well. And then it was kind of just most of the, pretty much all of the biggest villains we've seen have been in this episode in some form. Yeah, besides Riddler, like all of them yeah. were there. And Clock King. And Manda. Yeah, and, of course, Clock King. But we, <laughs> we didn't have the Sewer King either, so kind of. Ashamed. Oh, it's true, it's true, it's true. It's, uh, so it's not really the biggest villain, it's more like the B team. And uh, the A team right here. Connor, we still haven't gotten our yeah. uh, Man Bat Clock King Sewer King team up. Um, that's coming. That's a coming. I, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, we got hope. Has to be. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I'd say part two of this episode uh, will be them. Yes. So we we got two part twos of two different episodes that are going to be them. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> they will get the um, love they deserve. Wait. And they'll never be forgotten. So yeah, like you said, uh, this was pretty much the first proper villain team up be like i guess when they're together by choice because they're just hanging out in a club playing cards and you know telling stories about how they almost got batman yeah <laughs> you guys talking about almost got him whoa whoa who are you bro what i i i i heard almost got him and i was like hey that's that it's a, it's a pretty average episode but i mean you know i'll i'll, I'll come in well, I guess Everest is back to talk about this extremely average episode called Almost Got Him. Oh, yeah. So, that fits um, seven of Batman's worst villains. Bro. Yeah, not even his best. No, no, no Sewer King. Instant zero out of ten, man. I can't believe them. How, how would they leave him out? The greatest, greatest Batman villain of all time. Arguably but, uh, the most iconic. Yeah. Anyways... No, nah, this this episode's pretty great. It's it's my second favorite in the series. So y you know, it's all right. I I just I think the best part about it is just the pure concept of like all these villains getting together, hiding from the police, and just telling stories about ha times they almost got Batman. Like that's just so interesting to me, and I I love that kind of stuff when you get you know villains just kind of hanging out. Uh, I love that they explained how Batman got the giant penny 
in his trophy room in this episode with Two Faces like story, and then to have it all tie in with Batman, you know, being disguised as your boy Killer Croc, and then just absolutely owning them, bringing the police in. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's so. Uh, that's something else yeah. I want to say. Like all the villains, I think are written at their best, except for Croc, because he's just like an idiot in this episode. But it all makes sense once that reveal happens. Yes, exactly. Like you're thinking. Like I'm going through it, and I mean, obviously, I've seen it before, so I know. But it's like, oh my god, all of these villains are so great, and then you got Croc over here, and he sucks. But then yeah. it's like, hey, guess what? That's not Killer Croc. Got him. And it's like, oh. That makes total sense. I love this episode. And then, you know, Batman goes and saves Catwoman, and it's all a good time. Uh, I... Joker's, um... Electric chairs, it's a little bit extreme for uh, the kids, but, you know, this is the 90s, so... What do you mean? He's just electrocuting Batman, cooking some hot dogs. He's just having a good old time. Bro, Dang. he's, like, <laughs> seven-year-olds are watching this, all right? Yeah, and then he tries to turn Catwoman into cat food. Bro, all right. Joker Joker just knows, man. He knows how to get around the censor. Yeah, like, he does. Hey, <laughs> I, have, I, uh, I have an electric chair, but it only works if, if you laugh, and laughing's fun. Laughing's a good childish thing, so don't ban this episode, please. This audience like, is so gassed up, they'll laugh at anything, including the phone book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Dude, it was, it was, like, what made it so funny is that Harley actually went, read, like, someone's number out of a phone book, and then, like, the audience yeah, started laughing. Yeah, and they're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Uh, but, but, yeah, no, I love this episode. Like, it's, it's definitely up there with my favorites of the series. One of the more memorable ones for me, just because I think the writing is done so incredibly well in this. Because, you know, it's just a bunch of the villains sitting around. But then you have, you know, the backstories that play out. And I would say they're all quite good. Um, my favorite one was uh, was honestly the, the Penguins, though, with, like, the aviary of doom. Like, that... Yeah. Yeah, that stuff is cool to me. I actually love penguins. And, um, that's what I was gonna ask you guys. Uh, Connor, what was your favorite since Everest already gave his? Um. Wait, sorry, what'd you say? Uh, favorite like, almost favorite got him story. Oh, okay, um, yeah, uh, probably. See, I kind of like Two Faces because. I'd, I'm assuming that's the the story of how Batman got the coin for his Batcave. Yeah, yeah because, that's, uh, that's after, what I... After they asked uh, what became of the giant penny, and then he's like, they actually yeah. let him keep it. <laughs> he's all... So, yeah, that, he's that, all that's, my that's what I was saying. That's like, that's so cool that they actually explained that. Like, yeah. Then, yeah, then that one. Two faces? So we got two face penguin, and uh, of course mine being a standard white bitch is uh, Joker's. <laughs> <laughs> no, poison ivy. I... Well, no, poison ivy. The only reason Joker's is my favorite is because it's actually like, it's kind of still happening because Catwoman's being about to be turned into cat food. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. I just love the stuff where like you know you, you have the hero get locked into somewhere and they gotta like find their way out with the villain like toying with them. Like that's that stuff is really cool to me. Yeah, I really I really like Penguins too. It's probably my second favorite. And then uh, Two Faces, which are great as well. They were all pretty good. Like, I loved Ivy's because it was yeah. Halloween theme. So, I guess you can kind of count this as a Halloween episode if you want to watch a Halloween episode of Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> yeah. No, they're they're all pretty good. And then Crocs, you know, his was the best, of course. I threw a rock at him. I, I threw a rock at him. <laughs> so, uh, Connor, so... Uh, and since... then I... Connor, this was the first time you saw this episode, correct? It, it was. Okay, so, uh, what did you think of the twist? Twist that Batman is actually Killer Croc? Yeah, or, well, that Killer Croc is uh, actually Batman, but yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it was weird, but it made sense, because 
know, I was thinking the whole time, I was like, a killer croc is, he's not the smartest villain, but he's not that dumb. <laughs> yeah. So it, it makes sense. I thought that the fact that everyone else in the room was actually a GCPD officer was a little bit like, wow, how did no one notice? <laughs> them? Yeah. It was good. Yeah, that's something else about the, like, as they're cutting between the stories themselves, like, showing how they almost got Batman and then talking at the poker table, there's always yeah. stuff happening in the background as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And, like, all throughout Joker's cheating, too, which is <laughs> amazing. I liked how Two-Faith felt that Batman was always a SWAT team, not that there was a bunch of them. Oh, Yeah. Penguin actually got really close, and then, like, he kind of, like, towards the end, it just went completely away. <laughs> He's like, some, yeah. you know, he probably had some kind of tragedy in his life. Perhaps the crazy mother took an uh, eye. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, what? Like, come on, Penguin, you, you almost got it. He's, like, Bro, on the right he... track, and then just, like, completely went batshit crazy. Bruh, <laughs> imagine if Penguin had sent... E e toxic hummingbirds and the the big bird at the same time though then he would have gotten them easy dubs like what kind of on, bird man. did he send it's a oh, i forget the name of it it's like a hold up because it's like it's like a, go it's a huge ass bird that just stands on two legs right but it's, i don't think it's a, yeah it, it wasn't an ostrich was it Oh, no, it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like, why did it, why, he should have sent an ostrich. Do you know how fast those things are? <laughs> um, Batman wouldn't have been able to outrun it. <laughs> and it probably would have been taller than uh, it's a, It's a cassowary. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah, but like this episode is just... It's probably the most fun in the entire series, in my opinion. And it's one of the episodes with the best writing. It's close to being my favorite, but Heart of Ice has an edge for me just because of how emotionally investing that episode is, and how it reinvented the character of Mr. Freeze. Yeah, yeah. Heart of Ice is my favorite too. But this is a this is probably the most I've liked a lot of these villains before. Like this is the most I've liked Ivy up to this point. The most I've liked Catwoman. The most I've liked Penguin. Yeah, literally said I I liked Catwoman, Penguin, and Two Face in this more than I did in their other episodes. Yeah, I, re I really like Two Face in uh, part two of his episode, but I think this is probably the most I've liked him because, like, just because those episodes really focus on the origin and creation of Two Face. Yeah. But yeah, and I also think this episode shows off the Joker's intelligence extremely well, which we haven't really gotten too much of. Like, he hasn't been dumb or anything, but, like, this really displayed how smart he can be. He didn't trip and fall, and that was his downfall yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think none of the villains made stupid mistakes this time. Besides, I mean, not, you can't... besides not <laughs> noticing everyone in the background okay, yeah, was GCPD. But, besides that. <laughs> Bro, I swear, though, like, Penguin, come on, man. You, you send the hummingbirds and the cassowary after him at the same time, he's done. But instead, you let him beat the hummingbirds by, you know, raining water on them. And then you send the cassowary in. Like, come on, man. Classic penguin move. Well, Harley did look dumb towards the end of the episode because she's like, what's she gonna do, Batman? Beat me up or save your cat? <laughs> and then he just, like, looks over, pulls the switch, <laughs> turns the computer off. Oh, hey, off. here we go. Fan <laughs> fancy this. There's a switch that turns it off. Right in reach. <laughs> I think that's forgivable, though, since the show made Harley, so they could just kind of ride her however they yeah, wanted. Yeah, they could do whatever. Didn't have comic core. Yeah, and, uh, like you were saying about the reveal, Connor, like, it it makes sense, but, like, at the same time, you're like, wait, what? And just, I think everything about that moment's pretty perfect, except the animation doesn't really make sense, how it cuts to Croc, and then there's a silhouette of Batman's mask, but... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't really see the ears, so I guess it's... it's like, I the mean, ears are kind of... It doesn't really make sense, but then again, it's like animation, and they just kind of did that to, like, show you that it's been Batman all along, even though, I mean, most people yeah. can tell by the voice. Yeah. So, uh, guys, we talk <laughs> we, we've talked about this episode for almost 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna go ahead and give some letter grades? 
Uh, a plus for me, boys. Have easy A plus for me, Connor. I give it an A minus. Oh, you come on, like man. A, uh, At least it's like in a the A's. A's. So, uh, okay. So, Everest. All right, well. <laughs> th thanks. Yeah, no, nah, boys. I, I got homework, fam. I gotta go. Well, well thanks for hopping in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. About... Have fun. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Well, we'll see you again sometime, maybe. He's never he's coming gone. back, Connor. He's gone. No, we know we're never letting him back. We didn't even want him in this time, but he just... Yeah, he just, he just interrupted the face. show. He just knew we were talking yeah. about almost got him somehow. His almost got him senses were tingling. These yahoos laugh at anything now. Even the phone book.